and chewy on some hot boy. Like I told Tish, I see when I. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, we are going to be rocking a Lava Hound deck that shreds the three Musketeers. You heard that right. We've got the Fireball, Log, and the Tornado, all three spells, which are very, very good against the three Musketeers. And the thing with the three Musketeers deck is that their only counter to our Hound is the three Musketeers. So if you take that out and stop their Minion Horde with the Executioner, you are in business, and you can shred right through those decks and still take out some of the biggest threats in the game, including the Golem, including the Giant, things like that. So very, very powerful deck. Let's hop right into some Grand Challenge matches with this deck. But starting off with the usual question of the day comes from NRG Carnage. And he asked me if I could add one game-breaking feature to the game, what would it be? And for me, I would add an Elixir Nuke. So basically, if you make five positive Elixir trades in a row, you would be able to go and nuke their King Tower and absolutely win the game in one move. I think that'd be super crazy, super cool. So in the comment section down below, go ahead and let me know if you could add one game breaking feature to the game, what would it be? But here we go, focusing in here up against SMVL. He's got that nasty, nasty Hog Rider all over our tower, but our Night Witch is going to do some damage. So the reason why this deck is so strong, we've got the Lava Hound and the Night Witch combination, which is very deadly. We also have the Battle Ram underneath, so check out this super strong push. Lava Hound is tanking for that Musketeer, for the Crown Tower, and basically for anything else that does come out. And now our Battle Ram connected to the tower and the Barbarians did so much damage. And check out all these Bats and Lava Pups, and boom, we have taken the first tower before I could even get into explaining why the deck is so deadly. So now we have a Bandit there on the right-hand side, which will probably get a little bit of damage off, to be honest, with a great dash right there. And we are just doing so much damage. But basically, as you guys do know, the Night Witch spawns Bats every like four or five seconds so if you have the lava hound in front and even just two bats in the back they might have to be forced to zap otherwise they could take some incredible damage so let's get another lava hound down here on the right hand side going to face his musketeer there he goes with the hog rider once again but i don't want to lose this tower in this push so tornado is going to bring that towards the king tower another reason why the tornado spell is the best if you actually play three musketeers in every single game and you have an issue with the heal i can't even believe you just naked rocketed but if you have an issue with the heal spell, then I do recommend running a zap instead. The reason why I like running the log is because it is more versatile. But let's send a battle ram here on the left hand side and try and get to that king tower. Maybe we can get a three crown rather quickly actually. So let's get a bandit down as well. Battle ram will get a charge off onto that tower. Bandit is charging up. She will smack right into that tower as well. And just like that, we absolutely shredded that hog rider deck. We don't lose the hog rider decks with this deck because it is way too strong. So here we go. Going 1-0. On the day with a strong Battle Hound deck. Honestly, the toughest matchup, if I had to say, would be three Musketeers. If three Musketeers heal if you are running the log spell. Because if they do manage to play all three of their muskies in the back where you can't touch them, I mean actually I lied. You can use the fireball and tornado combination, bring the musketeers together, and the fireball will kill them. So I don't know of any tough matchups. I have not played a siege deck with this deck yet, though. So we will see about that. He's gonna bring a miner out for our bandit. Which is a pretty decent counter to be honest. Let's go ahead and log it back just because we have all three spells in our hands. And it is a pretty bad rotation. So hopefully we can reset here. He still is not going to send anything down on the field. So Battle Ram is heading towards that tower now. Let's see how he decides to react with Elite Barbarians. Oh baby. So here we go. We've got to get ready to counter this. He also has the E-Wiz, which I'm very grateful for. So now we can get some value out of our Tornado and Executioner combination. That log is going to go to waste. He was expecting like a Skeleton Army or a Goblin Gang, something like that. But now we have an Executioner counter push going back towards the tower. So this is where the Bandit and Battle Ram are so strong in this deck. You play defense with the Executioner or the Night Witch and you try and get back in there with the counter attack. Executioner will throw his axe at that Miner and get a little bit of chip damage off onto the tower. So I am pretty happy with that. And that counter push is pretty much dead. So now we can reset, regroup, and get our Lava Hound down once again here on the right-hand side. And hopefully we can make it all the way to that tower up against King Jura. And let's see here. If he's not going to play anything, we will get our Night Witch behind this Lava Hound. And that can be very deadly, as you guys already know. He does have the Princess. So we can save this log, actually, just in case he plays something else to try and get more value. So let's go Battle Ram and get our Night Witch down and pre-log. Hopefully we catch something else. We will play the Elite Barbarians. That won't be that bad of a counter though. Because now we have the Lava Pups in the air doing some damage to his Infernal Dragon. It took out his Elite Barbarians. Night Witch is all over that tower and she has yet to be touched. The Bandit and the Night Witch will absolutely shred that E-Wiz. And there goes the first tower 
of the game just like that. So as you guys can see, you would think the Infernal Dragon would shut down this deck, but the Lava Pups pop out, distract the Infernal Dragon, and then we have Bats and things like that, and it's just a Rose Session from that period on. So Lava Hound going down once again here on the right-hand side, going towards his push because we don't want him to get an easy tower. He is actually bringing out a Sparky. This is where the Battle Ram is so good against the Sparky because it can take a shot, pop out Barbarians, and then try and quickly take it out. But if not, we will use this Night Witch right here just to support it a little bit. He is going to play that Princess. I don't want her to get in the way of things. So that log is going to quickly take her out. And now we are slowly moving our way towards what looks like a three crown. The Night Witch and the Bandit will be able to shred that e -Wiz. And now we have another Lava Hound going down. He played the Elite Barbarians, but they're going to go down to the Bats. So now we have the Battle Ram. He's pretty pissed off about this deck. He's playing the Lava Hound. I think there's a Princess underneath as well. Battle Ram will get a charge off. He is going to log and do everything he can. Let's throw a Fireball down here. But that's going to be another good game. But this time, a three crown row session. So very strong stuff. Very promising deck here from the Lava Hound Battle Ram. So hopefully we do run into a Three Musketeer deck, just so I can show you, but it's pretty much simple. You Fireball and Log, the Musketeers that have two on one side, and then you focus on the other side with a Battle Ram or with a Night Witch, something like that to help defend. But here we go, hopping into our third and final battle up against Awesome YouTube. Actually, I think I've seen this guy on YouTube before, but we will see what happens here. He's feeling pretty confident about whatever he is running. So now he has that. Knight going down there on the left hand side, so now we have our Lava Hound coming to match that Knight. He's hitting me with the thumbs up, which most likely means he does have a counter to this. He has the Night Witch. <coughs> so Night Witch is coming in here, which should be a very strong counter. We don't have our Execution, and he has the Battle Ram. So Log going down to try and keep that Battle Ram back. He is also going to Poison. We have finally gotten to our Execution, but a bad rotation is going to make us take a charge off. And actually that Night Witch might get a few shots off onto our tower. She's doing some great damage. Our tower is all the way down to 210. So we have to win in a counter push. We have to get a counter push off right away. That's what I always try to do. If somebody beats me in the very first push, I try my best to get back to that tower with all the cards I have. Because we have to equalize the game. Otherwise, if it does reset, we will end up being at a huge disadvantage. So now we have the Night Witch. Executioner, all that in here. Let's get the Bandit down as well. We need to take this tower in this push. We have all those troops all over that tower. He's going to play the Skeleton Army behind the execution, which is very well played, but we still managed to take the tower. And now the Bats and the Night Witch will help to clean up all those Skeletons. So not too bad of a run. We equalize the game instantly. We actually have just a slight bit of a lead, and those Bats are going to help me take down the Night Witch to just about half health. He is having a great time over there. And now he's setting in the Battle Ram once again. So let's play the Log. Get our execution down. I don't want to lose this tower in this push, but it just might happen. Battle Ram will not connect to the tower, so the Executioner did some great job playing defense there and cleaning up the Night Witch, so a very valuable Executioner. He's pissed off about that. But now we can try and reset, recharge, and get our Lava Hound down on the right-hand side. So here we go. Lava Hound going down here on the right-hand side. He actually has a P.E.K.K.A. I didn't even see or hear that hit the map. I don't play with the game with any sound on, but that shouldn't be too bad. We've been playing so many P.E.K.K.A. decks. These decks are all over the place, thanks to Ash. So here we go, he's got an E-Wiz and a Knight as well, and a Knight Witch, so let's use a Tornado to bring this together, and Fireball gets some great value out of this. Boom, we're going to take down most troops there. Actually, the Night Witch does not die to a Tornado and Fireball, but no, not to worry, we've got the Executioner to help us clean up this P.E.K.K.A. and to clean up the remaining Knight, and he's going to play another P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge, probably thinking that we don't have a lot of ground defense since we are running a Lava Hound deck, but we do have the Battle Ram to help us distract just a little bit. Let's get a Bandit off to the right-hand side. Log the Battle Ram back, keep the P.E.K.K.A. at bay as well, and we are going to counter that P.E.K.K.A. push very, very nicely. The Pups did a great job on offense, getting his tower down to 1634, so now we can get a Lava Hound here in the center. He is poisoning our tower over there, trying his best to take a tower in the game. Let's get a Battle Ram down as well. The Bats should be able to clean up the rest of that Skeleton Army, and we will get a charge off with the Battle Ram, so very good stuff there. He is mad about that once again. Very emotional class for our player. We are going to win that game. Two crowns to one. Very, very comfortable W right there, guys. So that's exactly what I'm talking about and exactly what I want to see. Pushing us a 3 and one with a Lava Hound Battle Ram deck. So let me go ahead and scroll over to the left one more time to show you guys exactly what this deck is. With the Lava Hound, the Night Witch, Tornado, Bandit, Executioner, Fireball, Log, and Battle Ram. So basically, if you do need any substitutions, I would recommend switching out the Night Witch for either the regular Witch Ewiz or the Musketeer, depending on what you want. The Musketeer for more offense, Ewiz for more defense. If you don't have the Bandit, you can try using the Knight or the Lumberjack. Both very good options because they are underneath the Lava Hound, which makes it very difficult to stop. 
And other than that, oh yeah, if you need to switch out the log, make it a zap because the zap does a great job as well. Or you can try out using the fire spirit. So overall, a very, very strong deck. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!